Lions CV, good afternoon on Monday. I said yesterday that I needed a couple of days off, but I forgot that there's a game tomorrow. And of course, on a Monday, we do the Lions on loan video, looking at the young players that are currently out on loan at various clubs from around the UK. So, as we know, at the minute, two players are on loan. I keep saying I expect more players to follow. Isaac Alafe missing in action, maybe still injured. And Alex Mitchell to go out on loan as well. But at the minute, they're not budging. So we're sticking with Tyler Bury and Hayden Muller. And luckily for me, those boys are giving us a lot of decent content to talk about. So let's start with Tyler Bury. He is on loan at League 2 Hartlepool. He's played three games. He scored two goals and one assist. He uh, come off the bench in their opener. First game of the season, a set up the winner in the 80th minute. That was against Crawley. Last time out, he scored the first goal of the game. Very good goal as well against Barrow. Good run back post, header back across the goalkeeper. They went on to lose that game by three goals to two. And yesterday, he started up front again. He's been playing as a striker as um, in, in a two. Two people up front, one of, a, one of a main striker. And he has scored the first goal yesterday in their 2-0 win over Walsall. And when I saw that as well, I thought... God, we're all moaning about Mill's current situation. It wasn't so long ago. We was on par with Walsall. And now Walsall, no disrespect to Hartlepool, getting beaten by Hartlepool, who were a non-league team last year. It's a brilliant start for Hartlepool, and it's a brilliant bit of business as well, by the way, from their manager, Dave Challoner, because it actually looks now like Tyler Bury is too good for League Two. As I said, he scored the first goal yesterday in their 2-0 win. The second was a penalty. Tyler opened the score, and I think it was around 20 minutes gone in the game. I've watched it back this morning. It's a fantastic goal with his direct running, which we know he's very good at. Uh, he's just too good for that division by the look of it. And long may it continue, a brilliant place for him to be. Great business from us getting him out to the right club. And of course, as I said, great business for Hartlepool because he looks too good for the division. He's got the ball into his feet. Um, bit of a loose ball and he's gone in aggressive. Got there in front of the Walsall player. Turned and he's run. He's on, it's on his left foot and he's got a player touch tight the whole time. Uh, he's careered towards the edge of the box. He's cut in. He's getting false wide. And he's just so quick and strong and determined. He actually cuts across the defender. Right foot opens his body up into the top corner. Fantastic strike. He was absolutely full of being celebrated. He looks like he's going to be a big fan favourite. I was going to say down there. It's definitely up there in um, north east. Is it north east coast, I think. Very... Um, very strange place to go, Hartlepool. Uh, nothing like London. And it was like that, all that combined with the way he's playing on the pitch will be a brilliant experience for Tyler. It's so a fair play to him. Tyler is on fire. That's a shocking thing. But fuck it, I'm going to use it for the title of the video as well. Let's move on to our other loanee. It is Hayden Muller on loan at Callum Davidson's St. Johnston. He started the game on Saturday. He was removed um, they lost the game by one goal to nil. I watched the extended highlights this morning. Hayden's wearing number 16 for St. Johnston this season. Started in a back three. And as I said, he was substituted. Uh, I don't think that was any reflection on his performance because I've watched the highlights and he wasn't a fault for the goal. Looked uh, confident and assured in the game. Looked like he fits in lovely up there in the Scottish Premier League. So that's, again, very, very exciting news. They lost the game by one goal to nil. It looked like a very even game, end to end. And Dundee United nicked it. I can't remember the guy's name who scored it. But Silly Bollocks took his shirt off celebrating. It got booked. And then got a second booking about 10 minutes later for diving. He's been in and out a bit, Hayden. Um, and St. John's, I've looked into this this morning. And it's made my head spin a bit. I can't work out actually what's going on. And then I thought, don't worry about it too much. It's not St. John's the fan channel. We're just keeping tabs on our young talent, Hayden Muller. So what's happened is they've gone. And because they've won the cup last year. Brilliant for St. Johnston. But they are now in Europa League, or was in Europa League. Of course, this now brings more game, and they're going to have to use their squad more in depth. So that will fit with us brilliantly, because that means Hayden's got definitely, not that he isn't good enough for the level, because he definitely is, but he's got even more potential now and opportunity to play games, because they'll have to use their squad more, because they're playing more games. They lost to the Galatasaray over two legs, didn't they? And then they're now in a, another thing called the Europa Conference League Qualifier. I have absolutely no idea what that is. I'm, so, I'm guessing this. If you don't make the, Europe, uh, the qualifying for the Europa League, you get an opportunity to play in this next thing. And they play one leg against a team, which I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> it's not going well, this video, is it? But um, again, lots of opportunities for him to play. And he started the game in their 1-0 defeat against Dundee United. They currently sit 7th in the table. Three games, no wins, two draws. And that was their first defeat. But again, they're in this European whatever it is, Tim Bok Cup. No disrespect to it. But... Um, it's going to give Hayden, hopefully, an opportunity to play a lot of games. And he started on Saturday in their 1-0 home defeat in the SPL against Dundee United.
So there you have it. As always with me, especially with the St. Johnson stuff, that was short story, extremely long. But I think I got the message across. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll be back next Monday for another Loan Watch slash Lions on Loan. As I said, I'm really hoping for their own benefit that Santo can get fit and join them, as can Alex Mitchell. Uh, even Sean O'Brien, he's, he's so good. Get him out, get him out. See what he's got in the upper stages of a non-league or even in League 2. He's going to be a very, very good player for us. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.